want to hold callers. If you want to get off the line, I understand we'll open the phones up uh, for other people. But we're joined for the balance of the hour by Doug Hagman, who's been a frequent guest, and Joe Hagman, who works with him, uh, his son, who's never been on the show before, if I remember correctly, HomelandSecurityUS.com. Uh, and he's the founder and director of the Northeast Intelligence Network, CEO of Multistate Licensed Private Investigative Agency, uh, serving Fortune 500 clients. He's a member of the International Counterterrorism Officers Association and uh, works with uh, his work with DHS and FBI and has given us a lot of good information, f frequent guests on a lot of big shows and has his own show. You can find out more at his website, Rise for Canadian Free Press, Infowars.com, you name it. So, Mr. Hagman and Mr. Hagman, good to have you both on. What do you want to tackle first? I want to get into Russia. I want to get into the latest info you've got on, on, the, on the public rollout declaring that gun owners and conservatives, libertarians, are the new mission that's now official. And I want to get into the, this new report put out by more than 50 former CIA and other uh, folks saying that indeed Benghazi was a weapons transfer to al-Qaeda and that our government's, quote, switched sides to fully work with al-Qaeda publicly. I'm now seeing articles in CNN, AP, about how good al-Qaeda is, and we should have been nice to them all along, and they're really going to help us, and they're good guys now. I mean, this is how dumb the globalists think we are. So, guys, good to have you on with us. Alex, uh, thanks so much for uh, inviting us back, or inviting me back. And, of course, as my son Joe, we work together. Thanks for having us. But uh, Benghazi, I think, is, is the key issue here because it does relate to Russia. Uh, uh, we, we've got a lot of information on that. Yeah, my, my father here has been on top of the Benghazi situation since it's happened uh, on September yeah. 11, 2012, and uh, has been calling it for what it was, you know, a gun running operation uh, to help Al Qaeda fighters, the U.S. backing Al Qaeda, and now they've, you know, have come out and done so. And why Egypt. are you on American? I mean, isn't fighting for Al Qaeda the American way now? Wouldn't John Wayne support them? Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, uh, it, it seems that way. Uh, Alex, we, right, if I remember correctly, right after uh, I issued my uh, initial report about Benghazi, you appeared on your show, you invited me on your show, and we talked about this very issue. Everything that, that we, we talked about in your show back in, I, I don't know, uh, late 2012 has uh, come out in this, in this uh, investigative report. The fact that this seditious, treasonous activity, the fact that we bankrolled the weapons, we bankrolled over a half a billion dollars of weapons and, and, and also leveraged those weapons uh, to really a billion, maybe even five or ten billion that went to Syria to, to fight in Syria. Uh, Alex, this is the most seditious, uh, seditious and treasonous criminal act violation of inter and their international law people have, got, have really got to understand the 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 depth of this this not scandal but crime uh and well, you, for it, me this kind of stuff's gone on for a long time behind the scenes now they don't even care and do it nakedly uh, why why are they so arrogant well, it be because no one's questioning them. And Joe and I talk about this all the time on our show. No one is questioning this. The, the, the media is compromised. I mean, who in the media, aside from you and, and, and the new media, the alternative media, has even questioned them? Only UK News and Drudge is linked to it right now. That's it. Exactly. Exactly. They listed the alternative media as a the Department of Homeland Security yeah. in their 2009 extremist lexicon listed the alternative media as a possible domestic extremist. Exactly. Anything that differs from the uh, mainstream media that's promoted in the major six networks. That's right. We're going to go to break here in a moment, but I want to come back and I guess get into this report first. Then I want to get your take on Ukraine. I want to get your take on the open rollout. I mean, uh, what's it like, b b both Hagmans briefly, to, to see everything we've talked about now just open, just, just mainline? Oh, it's incredible. We talk about this all the time. I mean, it's like living in the twilight zone. Alex, you called it long ago. Others called it long ago. It's uh, not surprising to me because I've been listening to you for you know, seven, eight years and uh, listening to my dad. And, and before we even got into this, seeing it roll out, and I was just understanding and seeing what research has been uh, accomplished uh, coming to fruition. Why are the elite so confident? I mean, I guess they, they, they don't control the media. The alternative media is bigger than the dinosaur now. I guess they're in make-believe land? They're linguistic programming. Resistance is futile. They want you to believe that you can't defeat City Hall. You've talked about it. Of course, that's, uh, you know, that, that's why they're so confident. Absolutely. It's a confidence game. Let's come back.
as we're calling them on their fraud. Straight ahead, ladies and gentlemen, on the other side, we're going to break it all down. I'm Alex Jones, and we are talking to two very uh, informed gentlemen that have a lot of inside intel. Clean water at home, clean water at the office, clean water on the go. The Berkey Guy has a Berkey water filtration model for anywhere you are and one that fits any budget. Thousands of satisfied customers can't be wrong. For free shipping within the U.S., go to GoBerkey.com or call 877-886-3653. That's 877-886-3653. Helping thousands prepare since 2005, GoBerkey.com. How can you save a ton of money and prepare for emergencies? By having your own in-home freeze dryer from Harvest Right. Now you can cut down on wasted food by freeze drying your leftovers. That's right. Create your own long-term food storage by freeze drying your own fruits, meats, vegetables, even complete meals with the Harvest Right in-home freeze dryer. Imagine the savings and the peace of mind. See how the amazing Harvest Right freeze dryer works at HarvestRight.com. Hi there. My name is Frank Bates. What I'm about to tell you in the next 60 seconds could get me in a lot of trouble. I just created a free video presentation at 123coverup.com that exposes the electricity monopolies and government agencies for what they really are. Incompetent, lying crooks that are counting on your ignorance and fear to keep your power bills criminally high. Some have called this a conspiracy. Others have called it a cover-up, and you will be shocked to find out how deep the conspiracy goes. My video at 123coverup.com exposes the truth and shows you the secret of how I beat them and how you can beat them too. Watch the controversial video that thousands of other smart patriots have already seen in the last three months. Go to 123coverup.com and discover one weird trick to slash your power bill and protect your home. Go watch my video now at 123coverup.com before they force me to shut it down. Again, that's 123coverup.com. Attention all radio listeners, Survival Life is giving away free credit card knives exclusively to our radio listeners here today. Visit MyCreditCardKnife.com to see this covert knife in action and claim yours for free. It's the same knife you've seen in the airline magazines for $29.95, but today it's yours free. Just pay shipping and handling. MyCreditCardKnife.com, MyCreditCardKnife.com. Go now. You know about Emergency Essentials' lowest price promise. But have you heard about the one-day deals? You can save up to 70%. One-day deal emails go out every Thursday. So sign up at BePrepared.com or all month long. Save 47% on ASAP Silver Solution, 36% on the Mountain House Gourmet Entrees Combo, or 57% on freeze-dried shrimp. Call Emergency Essentials at 800-999-1863 or visit BePrepared.com. The choice is clear. Be unprepared or BePrepared.com. American gardeners and fellow patriots make the right choice with your money, time, and your family food supply. Choose 100% pure heirloom seeds in the Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com. Why spend more? The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com is only $37.95 and includes 20 varieties of pure, hardy, easy-to-grow heirloom seeds. Yes, only $37.95. That's 70% less than our competitors. You could buy three Survival Seed Vaults for less than one of theirs. The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com includes detailed planting and seed saving instructions and ships same day. Plus, all orders over $49 ship free. MyPatriotSupply.com is American owned by patriots like you, passionate about freedom and preparedness. Call now, 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Or discover more emergency preparedness items when you order at MyPatriotSupply.com. Choose the original. Choose the Survival Seed Vault at MyPatriotSupply.com. can run on for a long time, run on for a long time. You know, I'm going to ask the Hagmans about the pedophile networks that seem to be running the planet. You look at all the sexualization of children, you look at the attacks on children, you look at the media, it's when you understand it's a pedophile network. I covered that last hour with the John Bound special report. I'm just throwing that out now so the Hagmans don't forget to give me their take on that. That's a question I've never asked them. And the reason I like having the Hagmans on is that they really do have a lot of great sources. They've given us a lot of intel that turned out to actually be accurate or, or came true. 
So I want to get their take on what does it signify that the Daily Mail's reporting, quote, Benghazi attack could have been prevented if U.S. hadn't switched sides in the war on terror and allowed 500 million of weapons to reach Al-Qaeda militants reveals the damning report. And again, we got Doug and Joe Hagman on, both private investigators. A Citizens Commission on Benghazi, a self-selected group of former top military officers, CIA insiders, think tankers, declared last night in Washington at the press club that a seven-month review of the deadly 2012 terrorist attack has determined that it could have been prevented. Well, yeah, they ran it. If the U.S. hadn't been helping to arm al-Qaeda militants through Libya a year earlier. And they go over to say our government's, quote, switch sides and openly working with al-Qaeda. Now, again, we already know this, but to have this at the press club, to have this on Drudge, to, to, to have the American people come, and, and Senator Paul say we're not on the side of al-Qaeda, we're not their air force. Senator Cruz said that as well. It, it really, now that this is being openly debated, this is, the, I remember four years ago. Bilderberg was throwing fits internally back when we, Tucker was still alive and we had contacts. We still have some, but they're on the outside. That they brought this up at Bilderberg, the fact that we were exposing that the West runs Al-Qaeda. So, gentlemen, break down how big this report is. Well, well Alex, I'll tell you, it's everything. Uh, this report that was released uh, by, by the, uh, uh, by the uh, Citizens Committee on Benghazi, there's nothing to this report that we have not already talked about exposed this has there's nothing that they really added to this report it just confirms what we've talked about but but here's how big this is and people really need to understand this Gaddafi was cooperating now, Gaddafi was not a great great guy but he was cooperating with us with our intelligence agencies and this whole thing with Benghazi was a was intelligence back Western intelligence back it was a uh, it was part of this planned American Spring people think American Spring was was not planned it was planned but but uh, we took spring. That's sure. now admitted by Bilderberg and Google at the hotel in uh, Watford. Right, exactly. So, so the bottom line on this, really quick here, is the fact that uh, Stevens came in, like, on the bow of the Titanic, you know, with uh, 100 or so assets, uh, with CIA assets and operatives and that type of thing, into Libya, while Gaddafi was still alive, thinking that, in fact, that we could be very well cooperating with him. Our intelligence agencies are armed the very people that took him out. He was taken out. Uh, the whole process was to arm the Syrian anti-Assad rebels. We talked about this on your show right after it happened. Uh, to arm the anti-Assad Syrian rebels, including, by the way, with uh, chemical weapons. And, of course, what happened was the Turkish ambassador uh, was notified by the Russians. The Russians notified Turkish ambassador. They said, hey, wait a minute. Uh, you guys are training with chemical weapons and munitions and such on our soil or on our border here. you got to stop that. you got to tell Stevens, you got to tell the Americans to stop that. So the Turkish ambassador came to Benghazi to meet at the CIA compound. It never a consulate. It wasn't an embassy. It was a CIA compound, an operation center, the biggest one in North Africa. And, and told him, look, you got you guys, the Russians have satellite overheads. Stop what you're doing. All of these weapons coming into Libya. It's like the homie, uh, uh, Michael Reagan said this in his report, the Ho Chi Minh Trail uh, across northern Africa, uh, in building on a kernel of truth that appeared in the American thinker, exactly as it happened. Uh, and, of course, uh, Gaddafi was, was taken out uh, before that. But the bottom line is we are arming the Syrian rebels. Think of Bay of Pigs. Um, Al-Qaeda now runs Libya. Yep. It's running yep. Syria. Uh, they destabilized the whole region in order to uh, try to reorganize it under this order out of chaos. And Absolutely. they've done a, a fantastic job. That's right. They need them there so they can take our liberty. Exactly. Exactly. In Ukraine, you mentioned Ukraine. What's going on in Ukraine? If people don't think that Putin knew exactly what was going on in Libya, of course he knew exactly what was going on. And, and that's why Benghazi happened. But his response, of course, uh, was Benghazi. We opened up another front against Syria, by the way. Another front has been opened with ISIS. And that name, Alex, ISIS, the uh, uh, Islamic uh, Society of uh, uh, or, uh, ISIS, the uh, terrorist group ISIS. Uh, people, you know, obviously, uh, you know the significance of ISIS, the name and the Illuminati. But uh, that said, another front in Syria was open. Uh, and, and, of course, now Putin is reacting to what's going on in Syria. So th this is a game at multiple levels between the Americans, the Russians, the West, and, and the Russians. But at the at the end of all of this, and, and people have to remember this, it's all orchestrated by the globalists, by the Illuminati. That's and, right. And Stay there, both of you. With a long segment, I'll give you the floor.
We're going to talk about where this goes from here now. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. It's the Grand Chessboard. Alex Jones and the GCN.